Hey, salutations, it's Davy, D-A-V. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome, first of all. I'm basically helping you boosting up your knowledge to impress anyone using facts related to the days that we are. I recently had a dramatic experience. I dropped my camera on a hard concrete floor. The result of it is that I cannot control the focus anymore. Manually, if I turn the ring, nothing's happening. On the screen here, I cannot change anything. It's anyways your week of facts and it starts. You know he's shaving this side just for me? But Davy, shouldn't you do it before the video and not during? Yes, you're right. Let's speak about electric shaver. Quite cheesy, but well done. The first per oh, yeah, I might be blur, no? The first person to receive a patent for a razor powered by electricity was drawn in 1898. I even read that in 1900, a guy was using a wooden roller coated with emery that was attached to a sewing machine. Can you imagine that? So what can I do for you? Oh, just a quick shave, really. Okay. What's that for? Uh, to shave. What? And finally, Jacob. Being fed up with the hassle of replacing blades, he made it a goal to invent something practical. His first invention, patented in 1923, was a manual razor. Hello, didn't you say you were going to speak about electric shaver? Yes, it's coming, but that was never seen in the shaving industry because he made it with the disposal and loading mechanism inspired by the automatically reloading rifle. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm really sorry. Here we go. What the? After a lot of work and improvement, he registered a patent in 1930. And it's today, the 18th of March, 1931, that the first practical to use electric shaver went on sale. So now, when you're shaving next to your partner in the morning, you will have something to say. What you see up there... Hey, I know, I might be blurred, isn't it? I cannot stand being stuck in one spot. I want to be here from time to time. And here as well. Or even here. Not all the time in one spot. I need to move. Don't forget to subscribe. So what you see up there is often considered as the first real motion pictures. It's anyway the first one from the Lumiere brothers recorded today in 1895. They filmed it with their own invention, a device that could record and project. They called it the cinematograph and it's considered to be the first viable camera. They are also responsible for the world's first movie poster in 1895. In 1905, the brother quit the movie making business to develop the first practical photographic color process. But the motion picture camera, the cinematograph, wasn't left behind. It actually gave its name to a new art. Some call it the seventh art, the cinema. Today, it isn't only the first day of spring, you ignorant. It's more than that. It's also alien abduction day. It's for the people who have been or want to be abducted by aliens. And I got something quite secret to tell you. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Being abducted by aliens sucks. It's not that bad though, because their blood strangely tastes like ketchup. Anyways, in 1970 was the first edition of Earth Day to demonstrate support for environmental protection. It's now celebrated every 22nd of April. Yes, I didn't find anything else more interesting to speak about. You think it's easy? You know more things after the video than before, so stop complaining, innit? I don't have time anyways, I need to go back. You know what to do. Let me do my thing. The 22nd of March 1960, the laser is patented. It's fairly unknown, but the word laser is actually an acronym standing for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And the crazy Albert is actually linked to the story because in 1917, he established the theoretical foundations of laser. The first use of laser in the daily lives of general population was in supermarket, the barcode scanner. Some other use are the laser disc, laser printer, for light show, for cutting metal. Laser technology market is expected to be worth more than $17 billion by 2020. So I guess we'll carry on playing with our little cat. Okay, so today in 1839 was the first recorded use of okay. What do you mean, okay? Well, okay, the word okay, okay? Okay. 
It was printed on the Boston Morning Post as part of a joke, it is now the word the most frequently spoken on the planet, originated from the abbreviation of all correct. Uh, sorry, I don't want to be a pen, but it shouldn't be AC then for all correct. Well, all correct had a popular slang misspelling, which was all correct. That's another really cool fact you can share with anyone, anywhere, anytime. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Speaking of it, I'd like to thank PCH1140 and all the others I can't see for the subscribes. See you on the next one. Yeah.